Welcome back to Hell Yeah. I tried to get on it, <laughs> and it shot right out from underneath me. <laughs> Wait, how did you get the scar? <laughs> you guys didn't check the perimeter. Okay. I'm still saying. Oh, she got a tattoo to cover the bite. Chemical burn. Wow. with a ring of fucked up teeth marks and cysts and... Ow! Fuck you. Whoa. Uh, hey! <laughs> I told you a real fucking story. I did tell you a real fucking story! Oh, you want a bite mark? What? Did you hear that? Jesse? Just stay there, okay? Are you just, okay? Just, will What's you wait, going on? please? What? Just turn around! What are you doing? Are you kidding? <laughs> There's a blizzard out there. Not anymore. Why are you here? People are counting on you. You get that? What we do matters. Well, then why aren't you at the fucking lookout? Because Tommy and Joel didn't show up. Oh! Uh. Uh. I was looking for their horses when I saw lights. Maybe they just went back to town. Without being replaced. No way. How much of their region have you covered? Not much. Then we split up. Go at it from different sides, and we can cover the whole thing in a few hours. I don't like you riding solo. We don't know what's out there. Exactly. What if they need help? Okay, I'll head west. Dina can take south, and you come from the east, but be smart about it, yeah? Yeah. Upstairs, so I'm like listening. <laughs> oh, as if that gate's gonna stop them from like getting over, you know? There you go. That's cool. Owen! These people are gonna do fucked up shit. It's gonna be fucked up. Something fucked up's gonna happen. <laughs> That's all I can say with confidence. Oh god. down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock before we head out. Appreciate it. I'm Mel, by the way. Tommy. This is my brother. She prego. Yo. Don't look like you heard of us or something. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
What the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, oh shit, dude. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? You really gonna do that this this way, Neil? You really doing that? He just blew his fucking like. <laughs> you really doing this? What the fuck, dude? Really? What the fuck? <gasps> He's got a last name now. You're the doctor? I think she's one of the doctor ladies. Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. Fuck yeah, dude. Turn to get his leg. Do it. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. This is like a a sh like a TV show. That's brutal, man. Yeah, these gotta be firefly people. Clear out. What the fuck are you gonna do? What are you doing? What are you doing with this? Stupid old man. You don't get to rush this. Oh my god, dude! What the fuck, man? What the fuck, dude? Oh my god, man! <laughs> Something tells me Joel ain't living through this game, man. Like, that shit ain't happening. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't understand. She said guess. I, I'm, I'm curious as to, like, who she is really, you know? I think she's one of the doctors, like, in the operating room with, with Ellie, but... But I don't know. This right here almost feels like the Joel! like it should be like the ending Tommy! of the game, you know? Yeah, this shit's gonna go south. I mean, all the promotional material material has Ellie running through the woods, being chased by people. So this is where like this is the inciting incident. I I don't think Joel's gonna live through this part of the game. You're okay. You're okay. No, he ain't gonna live. I'm calling it now. He gonna be dead. No, that looks like special. He gonna be dead. Like, sorry, but that's what I'm calling right now. Unceremoniously killed at the beginning of the game. Joel? Which is a little disappointing if that Mommy? ends up happening because... I don't know, I would have liked to have seen more of Joel. Like his whole, like, you know... I'm full on ammo. Dude, this shit gets serious right up front, dude. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a slow start, but like when it's picking up, like it's picking up hard, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, here we go. It's Tommy dead. Joel's dead. He, he, they're both gonna be dead. Yeah. 
aren't you posted up outside? We didn't think anyone was gonna show up. What the hell did you expect? We gotta get out of here before the whole town's on top of us. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. He ain't getting up. Please stop. He ain't getting up, dude. Please don't shoot. He ain't getting up. Joel, please get up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Saw that coming. It's kind of an unceremonious death for him. Like, I'm not sure if I'm, like, super into that, but I get it. If Tommy dies, then the truth about the Fireflies is fucking over with. But then again, they might tell her. Who knows? I think these are the Firefly people. Like, they have to be. Wow. Yeah. Ow. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's the death he deserved. If he's dead, you know. I'm sorry. I don't think that's the death he deserved, Jesse, but. They're down here. I get it. I mean, yeah, that shit would catch up with them. Yeah. Like that group of fireflies ain't just gonna let him go. <laughs> So would they let her go? I don't understand. Like, why wouldn't they have, like, captured her or something? Or was it all a dream? Or is he in a catatonic state? Like, he's still alive, but in, like, a coma. So how come Tommy lived? They didn't make any sense. Why didn't they just kill all of them? Because he was the man that they wanted? Could I sit down, please? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> My buddy at work, Drew, was like really like looking forward to seeing Joel in the game. And I, I can't tell him, obviously, what just happened. But it's like... <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed then. <laughs> wants to make sure you're eating. <laughs> oh, she can't mm. stop us. My ankle. They have the guys that we would need to do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. They just get to get away with this. Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. That's the, that's the thing that doesn't make any sense. Did they not, under, did they not understand who Ellie was? Is this you talking or is this her? It's a valid point. If it were you, or like they you run into the girl that they had to begin with. No, we would. She absolutely fucking would be. Well, we don't even know for certain that they're from Seattle. Washington Liberation Front. That's what you said was on those patches. What if they mm. stole those jackets? That's... Uh, the WLF move. What are you doing? They should have had like an escape scene or something. I don't know. Like it doesn't make sense that they just let them go. And if you want to come with me, great. But like they had them You have no idea what you're walking into. They had them pinned down and everything. And then they just let them leave they just leave? I don't care. 
You can't talk me out of this. I don't get it. That's kind of weird. That's a little bit of a plot hole in my mind. <laughs> Talk to Marie. Just the fact that they okay. let them go for some reason. Some like, you can okay. Maybe she won't budge. Well, I'll figure something out. One day. Please. I mean, in fairness, there was a reason why Joel was not in any of the promotional material. <laughs> Poor Troy Baker. He's out of a fucking... out of his role so quickly into the game. It's too bad. It is a little bit of a... I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That is a little disappointing to me. I'm not saying I dislike where the story is going so far, but the fact that like, I, I wanted to see a little bit more Joel and Ellie, too, you know? I was hoping that Joel would have been in the game a little bit more, even if you don't play as him or whatever, but, like, you get to kind of see um, a little bit more of, uh, you know, how their relationship has changed, you know? Joel Miller. I don't think they ever said his last name in the beginning. They're like in the first game. Yeah, I don't know if that was the death he deserved, but whatever. I want to stop at his house before we leave. Just have to pick something up. Okay. That guitar. I couldn't get to the horses. Looks like Tommy took one. Now Maria's got the stables locked down. <sighs> Fucking Tommy. All right. No, I don't want to be. I don't want to jump to conclusions. I do want to see where the story goes. Obviously, I'm not gonna. Like, oh, Joel dies. <gasps> Game sucks. Zero out of ten. You can still change your mind, you know. I know. Just but I mean, that. at the same time, it's like, you know, they couldn't, like... I understand if he doesn't want to, like, make his death, like, all grandiose and big. Like, this is the real, like, you know... I don't want to say the real world, but it's grounded. Like, it's not going to be this huge dramatic thing, you know? I don't know. I just would have liked to have seen him and Ellie a little bit more in the game. I hit it by the east gates. I figured we'd want to slip out that way. Car. Yeah, this is like a fucking movie, man. Like this is like another like walking set piece thing. Like shit. That's symbolism. Oh wow. That's a little bit of environmental storytelling there. With all the flowers and everything, the cards. Just got big hands. What do you need? Oh, I can go get it. I want to do it. Okay. I'm okay. I can see how that part, though, right there, like, Joel getting killed, I can see how that would be, like, a deal breaker for some people. Thanks. <laughs> but it's like, you gotta be along for the ride, man. Like, that's, that's what the ride entails. 
like, sorry. Sorry, I can't be fucking peaches and rainbows all day long, but... <laughs> you know, it's like... He's an iconic character, man. And just to be, like, fucking ruthlessly killed. <laughs> like, yeah, that's gonna upset some people, for sure. <laughs> Imagine being Troy Baker reading the fucking, uh... Be reading the script and being like, oh shit, I die in like the first like two hours of the game? Like, fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I feel like they have input on the characters though too, so I feel like I'd be curious to see like the like interviews with like Ashley Johnson and Troy Baker, see what they feel about the story, you know, because I feel like they often had input on the characters and what they would do and how they'd behave and shit, so... It's a nice mug. What did you write? Oh, you drew an owl. Shit, you draw that really quickly. Oh, shit, here we go. She writes like poetry, that's interesting. Whoa. Tommy said her name was Abby. I like that. That's cool. No, no, go back. I like that. She's sketching it out and she can't fucking draw his eyes. Interesting. Interesting. I like it. It's a little, um, a little like, I don't know, teen drama-ish, emo-y type of shit that she's writing in there, but you know what? I do think it kind of plays to her character a little bit. Ah. Sorry, I'm trying to keep an eye on the time, too, just to... whatever. You do wood carving or something? Yeah. Looks like he did. He's a woodworker man. Oh, he's made a couple of guitars. Does he make his own guitars? He must. Or he does work on them anyway. Wow. He was a fucking handyman. That's deep. That's deep, man. That is some deep shit. But the one was tailor made. It was it was a tailor guitar. But it must have like a custom inlay on the fretboard. I don't know. There's the signature jacket. There it is, man. There should be a hole from the rebar. Oh. Shit's heavy, man. There should be a hole in it from the rebar. Because he did get impaled in that jacket, after all. Unless it, like, flopped up. It's like the third bathroom in this house. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Oh no. What is this one? Is it Ellie and Joel with the horse? Is that the one I want? Oh, the watch. Oh, fuck. Shit, man. Get the guitar. heavy man I don't know man I still gotta give it up for Neil's writing just because you don't like something doesn't mean the writing's bad <laughs> everybody giving the game zeros <laughs> just because you don't like something doesn't mean that the game is bad <laughs> or it's written badly <laughs> oh Joel dies fucking zero out of ten I wish I could let it go, but I can't. I have to bring these people to justice. Mm -hmm. Ellie's gonna try to come after me, but stop her. Take her guns, lock up the horses, maybe lock her up. Find me some time so I can end this. I love you always, Tommy. Oh, Jesus, Tommy. Killed. He should have taken me with him. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gotta try to lock me up? I prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Yeah. So you're just gonna sneak out of here? Hmm? Yeah. On foot? I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo too. All right, Maria, cool, thanks. How come, I wonder why Ellie's not wondering why they killed Joel. Do me a favor. He's not gonna live either. Calling it now. something around you're losing weight Maria you're so like I don't know yeah I mean you only care about your husband but it's like whatever like fine you're just like all right just go <laughs> I don't care it's not my fucking problem just go <laughs> It's funny how different Ellie is in this compared to the first game. Like, just, she's obviously, like, a different person. I mean, naturally, right? Man. Shit's brutal. This is, like, we're barely even into the game, and this shit is fucking brutal, man. Joel couldn't get to his gun. Were you scared? Well, I, I didn't even think. I just, I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and shot the guy in the face. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? We talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten. Wow. What happened? The guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. You got me beat. Yeah, I'm a real badass. So how lost are we? Uh, the most lost. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. 
What about those crazy cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after you guys once. Maybe these WLFs are connected to them. No. It didn't seem like the same group. Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. I guess. My my first assumption is that they're the fireflies. Or I guess former fireflies, I guess. Like, who else would have, like, a bigger stake than to go after him? Like, you know... I mean, in her mind, she doesn't think that, obviously, because she is under the assumption that what Joel said was true. So I get that she doesn't think that it's the Fireflies. She thinks it's this Western Liberation Front or whatever. that makes sense like she she wouldn't immediately link that it's the fireflies but I think it's the fireflies because I mean like I said like who else would have that reason to come after him at least you know it's such especially with such vitriol you know that they want to kill this guy on sight Ellie. you know start keeping an eye out I don't want to gallop I'm doing a nice little trot why gallop? Man, this is like a really well-realized environment. Like, holy shit. Looks friggin' incredible. Here we go. Guess I was wrong. Turns out you do know where you're going. Wow. Fucking look at this. That is nice. Where are we going to go? Probably towards the buildings is what I would assume. But let's check it out. Oh yeah, there's a... <laughs> the foliage made it look like this is a full bridge. Well, I guess not. Well, you know what? I think right here might be a good time to cut this episode. So next time on Chinstrap Chaps, we, I don't know, seek revenge.